The Barbie film has got the world talking about Ryan Gosling again. Many claim that he managed to outshine Margot Robbie, who was supposed to be the main star of the film. What is the phenomenon of Ryan Gosling and why not only women, but also brutal men who have seen life? I will tell you about it right now. He grew up in a strict religious family. However, it was belonging to the Mormon church opened the door for him in the big cinema. Out of dozens of applicants for the lead role, director Henry Byrne chose Gosling for the fact that because of his background, the young actor, in his opinion, was able to understand the social restrictions that impose faith. The childhood of the actor was not good. He was born in a small Canadian town, in the family of traveling salesman Thomas and secretary Donna. His father worked at the paper mill because of which everything in the neighborhood stank of rotten eggs in the production used ammonia. This odor the actor always associated with the town from which Ryan wanted to escape. Life at home wasn't easy either. The children, Ryan's sister, were forbidden anything not related to the Bible, games, entertainment, and films. The last one depressed the boy the most. The mother acted as a counterbalance to the overbearing father in the family, who allowed the children to do a lot of things on the sly. Ryan expressed his protest against his father's tyranny through disobedience. He broke things, ran away from the bedroom at night, put the cat in the dryer and even set the house on fire. An atypical actor, that's what the critics say about him. He can stare silently into the camera while the audience on the other side of the screen stare at him like mesmerized. Thoughtfulness, mystery, depth, drama, so characterize the style of his game. He grew up lonely, but dreaming of love, friends and fame. A Mormon family, constrained by religion, prevented Ryan from making friends with other children. Social rejection turned to aggression. One day he brought knives to school and started throwing them at his classmates on the playground. In school, he was suspended from classes, forced to seek medical help, and his mother began to teach him at home. But most importantly, Gosling was forbidden to watch many films. Remained content with the products of Disney for children. The boy spent two years being homeschooled. Specialists agreed on the diagnosis of attention deficit disorder and even prescribed medication. But despite the mention of this fact in the media, Gosling himself denied that he took medication because it was not about his disease, but in the atmosphere that surrounded him at home. Everything changed when the parents divorced. The father accused the mother of having an affair and beat her in front of the children. The court sentenced him to eviction from the house. Then he claimed that his wife had also beaten him in front of the children. Both were sentenced to fines. Scandals and court battles strongly affected Ryan's character, he became more withdrawn and aloof. But he wanted attention. A curious detail, Gosling's maternal uncle performed at weddings, and often took his young nephews as assistants. It was at the time of performances Ryan was the center of attention and behaved in an exemplary manner. Then his mother decided that her son needed exactly what he dreamed of, to get on television. A difficult child with a complex character was able to beat 15,000 applicants at the casting in the show Mickey Mouse Club. But even there, Gosling's friendship with the guys didn't work out. He often emphasizes that he has always understood women better. In 1993, the new Mickey Mouse Club aired in the United States and Canada. The revamped Disney show unleashed new stars. Gosling's colleagues were Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera and Justin Timberlake. What won producers over Gosling is still a mystery. He was the only one of the star four who could not sing and dance well. That's why he was given less time in the show. Filming changed the boy's life abruptly. At first he and his mother moved to Florida and lived in a trailer. But the mother had to return to Canada to keep her job. Guardianship over Gosling was taken on by Justin Timberlake's mother. Therefore, the guys became a kind of brothers. By the way, a successful career in the cinema made both. Two years on the show in the US did not go in vain. Ryan learned how to behave in front of the camera, watching his more successful colleagues. But at the end of his contract, he had to return to Canada. At home he was waiting for new invitations to TV shows and a lawsuit from his father. He demanded to pay part of the funds from the fee Gosling. Thomas argued that without his participation, his son would not have achieved anything. This case severely hurt the guy, further alienating him from his father. But Gosling's career only went uphill. He was offered starring roles in soap operas. And he dreamed of the big meter. At 19, 
he plunged into the world of Hollywood, starting with a scandal. The actor's agent fired him, did not believe that the vague prospects in the cinema can be exchanged for fame and demand on television. And in the film world at first he was waiting for the role of the second plan, but after a year Gosling received a tempting offer. In 2001, the screens were released a drama based on real events fanatic, where Gosling played a neo-Nazi of Jewish origin. Then there was Countdown to Murder in a Pair with Sandra Bullock, where he acted as a high school student who dreams of committing the perfect murder. And in 2003, Gosling reincarnated as Leland, a teenager who killed a disabled boy in the drama United States of Leland. His characters are not textbook villains that you hate from the first frame. Gosling's characters are complex, multifaceted people who have made the choice to take the side of evil or stand at a crossroads. Do not become hostage to a single image of the young actor helped romantic drama Diary of a Memory. Diary of a Memory became a landmark film for Gosling in many ways. Firstly, Ryan had to play in the most difficult conditions. At first, he and his partner simply hated each other. He demanded understudy for any scene where they had to explain their feelings and demonstrate love. Secondly, in this and subsequent works, the actor sought to immerse himself in his character so much that he developed special talents. For Diary of a Memory he learnt carpentry, taking a course from a real master. As a result of the work, all the chairs standing in front of the house in the film, as well as the table, his handiwork. In 2006, he starred in the film Half Nelson as a troubled primary school's teacher. Gosling admitted that in preparation for the film he spent more than a month following the young teacher to get into character. For filming in the film Lars and the Real Girl, learned to knit. To participate in the romantic comedy drama This Stupid Love, Gosling had to learn the profession of a bartender and learn how to professionally mix cocktails. Starring in the drama Drive, the actor went through the car to learn the profession of an auto mechanic. And for La La Land he learnt to play the piano and took dancing lessons. The media called him a sex symbol, and he responded with the excuse, I just understand women. The 38-year-old star Sandra Bullock was bewitched by her 21-year-old colleague after meeting him on the set of the detective Countdown to Murder. Their romance lasted a year. And Ryan has always said he was fascinated by this beautiful and intelligent woman. His next love was his partner in the film Diary of a Memory. Love began with hatred. With Rachel McAdams they did not get along on the set. But then they waited for a stormy and passionate romance with painful breaks and happy reunions. Three years of relationship, an attempt to start again in 2008, all ended with the decision to remain friends. Of his romances with Bullock and McAdams, Gosling told the Times in 2011, I had two of the greatest girlfriends of all time. I never met anyone who could top them. Gosling was single again and topped the hit parade of Hollywood's hottest bachelors. He was credited with affairs with actresses Kat Dennings, Blee Lively, Olivia Wilde and Emma Stone. But while the yellow press mused rumors, the actor really fell in love, again with a colleague. With the sultry Eva Mendes. They worked together on the film The Place Under the Pines in 2011. The pair began to be spotted together at events and red carpets. Both did not comment on the relationship. And then Eva disappeared from sight, and Goslin was seen in proud solitude. Fans were perplexed, but it turned out that Mendes went into the shadows because of pregnancy. Eva gave birth to Gosling's daughter Esmeralda in 2014 and Amanda in 2016. The couple raises children and does not disclose details of private life. Eva is a gift from fate. I am often asked what qualities I am attracted to in women. And now I know. My only requirement for a woman is that she be Eva Mendes. I am sure that I am in a relationship with the only right person for me. And I'm not going to look for anyone else, the actor told reporters. Mother and sister had a great influence on the actor. It was in the company of women that he felt safe. He tried to spend more time with them and often said that he understood women better than men. The actor told the Daily Telegraph, I grew up with strong women and over time the number of them has grown exponentially. So I just tend to lean towards stories with strong female characters. Understanding female nature and psychology has influenced Gosling's character. He doesn't need to prove his superiority to other men. He shows concern for loved ones and takes responsibility for them. Their family with Mendez does without a nanny, 
because the successful actor himself is ready to sit with his daughters, so that their mother could go to work or on her own business. With the birth of his daughters, Gosling began to spend more time supporting feminism. Not a hymn to feminism, but a drama about the crisis of masculinity. This is how Ryan Gosling's fans described the film Barbie. The actor's participation ensured the commercial success of the film. It is Gosling who gathers the male audience for the film about the adventures of Barbie and Ken in the real world. The story of Barbie is the story of women's emancipation, according to the film's creators. At the same time, the friend of the famous doll is just Ken, who is tired of being in the second role. Gosling managed not to stay in the shadow of Margot Robbie but to tell a very personal story.